Well, it might not be one of the most pleasant days in upstate New York, but it's time to start the guard pommel and antler handle for this hunter. Join me. Well, this is kind of an interesting development. That little piece of Damascus is hard. I can barely drill through it. And uh, I think I'm going to have to anneal it. I, I thought I already annealed it after I made the Damascus. But uh, maybe while I was grinding everything smooth and then quenching, it literally got hot enough to harden it a little bit. That is kind of strange. Uh, bandsaw blades and old files. Hard stuff, man. While not the straightest line of holes I ever made, at least I got through. On to filing. Okay, here's a rough etch and test fit. I don't know if you can really see the Damascus or not. Uh, I think you can see it there. A long ways yet to go. Well, I'm almost there. I'd say we're done with the antler hole and uh, fitting up the antler to the tang. Enough sticking out here to paint it over after I get the Damascus pommel on it. Now we just gotta figure out what we wanna fill in here. And then I've kinda gotta decide whether I want this to be shaped in advance and then leave it exactly what it is or if I wanna blend that in to the final product. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go with leather here in the middle. The uh, kind of wanted to add a dash of color, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with some black construction paper uh, in three different sets of layers in and around the leather. And I think the trickiest part of this is going to be painting that off at the end. Because I think I made that hole a little bit too big or I took a little too much off the end of the tang, I don't know. But uh, let's get the construction paper cut and get going. Okay, so I'm all done with the epoxy. If uh, y'all haven't seen me do epoxy before for stacked handles, just check out one of my prior videos. You just put epoxy between each layer as you're stacking it up. And uh, 
You may be asking yourself, why don't you have that clamped? Well, that's an odd angle at the pommel end, and uh, any sort of clamp will offset that, that pommel. I made the hole a little bit too big around that pin. Um, so I'm just going to let it set here with gravity on it and plenty of epoxy and cure overnight. Okay, well I gotta admit that was one of the scarier parts of this. I don't know if you can see it here where I peened that down. Um, maybe I could have left that a little bit shorter, the hole a little bit smaller. But either way, it's done now and I didn't damage the epoxy glue up on the rest of it. So, on to shaping. I'm not even going to tell y'all how much time I just spent sanding on this thing. Oh man. Okay guys, here's where the rubber meets the road. How did all that polishing make this look? Going to hit it with some linseed oil. I still got to do some acid etching with a Q-tip or something around this guard, but that wood and that leather need some oil. The moment of truth. Ooh, that, look, that wood looks nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. Woohoo! This one's for me and maybe my son when he gets older and starts hunting. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I like the Damascus pommel. Uh, I like the Damascus guard. And even though the blade is imperfect, I really do like it. I think it's got a lot of character. If you enjoyed the building of this knife and in particular the building of this handle, uh, drop me a like, subscribe. I will be coming back with more videos. It's only a matter of time. All right, you guys have a good day.